Hello everyone and welcome to this new video. I am Mr. Karat and this is the game between uh, Fabiano Caruana and uh, Pragananda in round 7. So Fabiano and Pragananda both are uh, in uh, plus 1 with 3.5 out of 6. And Fabiano starts with uh, the white pieces. So we have e4 and just a surprise in the first move. A French defense. <laughs> So the French defense is of course a very solid way for black to play, but of course it's not like one of the famous way, especially in the high level. We have d4 and just d5 and we have the advanced French. Uh, c5, very typical idea to, uh, you know, says, okay, you have a great center, I want just to, to play c5 and try to, uh, to stop that, and now just c3. Knight to uh, c6 and knight to f3, Everything so far is very very well known and it plays uh, You know even like lower rated players can know this position. So this is why we have just Queen to a b6 Putting more pressure on this pawn on d4. We have a3 uh, with the idea of playing b4 later on uh, And we have here just bishop to uh, d d7 uh, you know b4 immediately and black takes on d4 and white takes on d4 with the pawn and just rook to c8 so far everything is very very uh, well known and still in theory so this is why we have just bishop to b2 and knight to knight to e7 and knight to c3 yeah and in this position uh if you go anything else besides one move let's say knight to to uh, a5 i can just play knight to a4 try to you know hit your queen i have this beautiful square here and black positionally will be in a lot of problems so this is why you as black need to play of course knight to a5 of course, the idea is after if you take, I will just take on here in the, with with the queen, and of course the knight is is weakened, and here you have those double pawns, so of course nobody will take here. And of course, just because you can take doesn't mean you need to. Uh, we have just knight to a4, anyways, but now you have this beautiful square for your queen, so this is the big difference, and also uh, this uh, rook and queen battery is very very beautiful. Uh, knight to c uh, c5 anyways and just knight to c4 says I have also a great outpost somehow for my my knight myself uh, Bishop to c3 just says okay. I will not give you my dark square bishop and now b6 and takes the the light square bishop and queen takes on d7 Bishop to d3, just developing and asking to castle. And here, Pragananda says, okay, I won't necessarily to think it on my bishop and also castle uh, short. Of course, the bishop here got, at the moment, no life, but probably can play f6 and try to open up everything later on. Queen to, you know, uh, e2, try to put more pressure here on, on this, uh, this knight and just h5. He says, you know what? Yeah, this diagonal is so bad, let's just play on this diagonal <laughs> and, you know, just bishop to d2 says, okay, no, I will not give you that, you can trade if you want, and this is what happened, and just he played it. Now, we have bishop, you know, to uh, b5, but of course, you have just knight to c6, only move to stop uh, losing your queen or lose the rook, knight back to f3, and castles, castles. And if you try to evaluate this, uh, evaluate this this uh, position, you will find that they both have the opposite color bishops, and the problem for white is this pawn. It it could look good in a way, but the problem is there is no uh, pawns here, so it's just uh, there is nothing defended except the knight at the moment. So if we exchange, let's say, I can bring probably a rook here, put more pressure, try to double up, and this in an end game can be uh, a problem for you. Uh, but we we just see, you know, queen to e7, and bishop to a6, uh, just hitting the rook, nothing special. We see just rook to c uh, to c7, and now we have just rook to d1. Try to uh, defend it because probably you you want to free up your your knight some 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 time and uh, like I said it's just a little bit weak uh, this pawn. 
uh, knight to b8 says, okay, this bishop is so good, I want to double up uh, a specific moment, so just move it up. And this is what happened, just bishop to d3, and a5 takes, takes, and just queen to uh, e1. Somehow a one one threat move, nothing special, and here just knight to c6. We have uh, rook to b1 and rook to uh, a8 try to over defend this, uh, this pawn here. Bishop to b5 and just queen to d8. Here white's uh, played g3 with the idea of giving love to the king for future back ring uh, problems. So, you know, just a, always a useful move and just knight to uh, e7 rotating the knight. We have just king to d2 and just queen to c8, you know, having this beautiful open file uh, at the moment. But of course, the position it's just still very equal. Uh, you know, the bishop here can you can play a4 and try to cement it here. And for black, he got this also beautiful bishop here with, with this diagonal. So it's like uh, also you don't have like a majority here to, to create a pass pawn. It's it's just wait and and see what your opponent is going to do. We have just queen to uh, d1 and just rook to c3. Now black starts to have some slight advantages. So here white says, you know what? I don't want you to to squeeze me positionally. Uh, I need to play rook to b3 and just uh, I don't want your rook to stay here on the the third file, the, the third rank. Sorry. So we see just queen to c7. He says. I will just play rook to c8 and you have no way to take me out of this uh, out of this uh, file especially you don't have rook to c1 because of this beautiful bishop we see just rook to b1 and rook to uh, b8 now a a4 is still the move so he played it now uh, the bishop is just there you can't really do anything for it and we have just rook to c2 and rook to b2, rook to c2 again, and knight to d1. He could have go for the rook petition, I mean Fabi, but he chooses not to and try to play uh, more in this position. But of course, I believe it's really difficult for the players to find a way uh, to, to improve their position, except if their, their opponents do mistakes. And in this level, uh, in this risk-free position in a way, it's just very difficult for your opponent to go wrong. Uh, we have just uh, rook back, we have just knight to g1, rook to c1, and the trade and the trade of uh, the queens also. We have rook to b1, rook to d2, and knight to f3 with tempo on the bishop. Bishop back to b4, it's like even the same, uh, the same, um, you know, <laughs> for both players, and just rook to c1 having now the open file. But of course, uh, after this move, which is rook to, to, to c8, you can probably go for this endgame. It's just unclear, both players don't want to go for, for such long endgames, they just agreed uh, in a draw, uh, or for a draw, uh, at move 42. So yeah, that was the game between Fabiano uh, and uh, Pregnanda. Now both players are 4 out of 7. Uh, and, you know, uh, they will have a break uh, tomorrow. So we will see the second half much, much better and much, much, you know, like fireworks and everything. So uh, thank you very much, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and see you in the next videos. Goodbye.